Now this chapter about subtraction is all about subtracting mentally. Another strategy for subtracting mentally is breaking numbers apart. This is definitely one of the more challenging strategies and one that you will need to practice as much as you would need to practice any strategy. When you have a problem like 86 minus 16, it's not difficult to see that 6 minus 6 is 0 and 8 minus 1 is 7. Mm -hmm. Seeing that 86 minus 16 is 70, that is not very difficult to do either mentally or on paper. But when you get something like 86 minus 17, on paper that would take some time to do in order to borrow from the tens and add it to the ones place so that you can subtract the ones place. But consider the number 17. If you start to see numbers as things that can be broken apart, then 17 isn't really 17. You can see it as 16 and 1. If you see this number 17 as a 16 plus 1, then you can subtract the 16 very easily in your head. And if you know that you're just taking one more away from 70, then your ability to subtract odd numbers like this becomes something you can do in your head. It's not something you will learn overnight and be able to do perfectly every time. It will take practice, just like anything. But requiring students to always see numbers in only this algorithm is stopping them from developing a very important skill that, yes, you do need to teach the standard algorithm. Students do need to know what borrowing looks like and how it works. But if you understand other strategies, you're going to save them a lot of time in the future.